at, at this mention in one of the hadith Qudsi. To base of not, my knowledge, not mentioned in Quran, but it mentioned one of the hadith Qudsi. Okay? So here, this description was given by the Prophet in this pattern, you know, to tell you about the difference between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the others. We look forward. We have our beloved Prophet, you know, he has this perfect or the be best perfect, the most perfect way, you know, to happen to any creation. We know that all of his description has been as such. And I mentioned this before. That's why the famous poems, you know, in Arabic or the, in Islam, they were hesitant to praise the Prophet why? Because they felt whatever they are going to say is going to be way down, you know, of reaching this perfectness, you know, of, of him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or of his. After that, when we are familiar with these two mat matters, you know, we should be, yani, look in there, you know, have some hope, you know, to get our share there. And here, how lucky we are, you know, because the Prophet Sallallahu instructed us how to get our portion of this holy attribute of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, this unique character of the Prophet Sallallahu Some of us may be rich, the others they may, may, may not be as such, you know. Some of, they, of us, they spend a lot of money, the others, even though they are rich, they are not that, you know, good in spend, spending money and you name it. So he gave us very practical, and this is, tells us, you know, about what I have said before, you know, about the practicality, you know, of the tradition of the Prophet Sallallahu He gave us some practical steps, you know, how I may start, get my portion, you know, of this unique attribute of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, by what? Alhamdulillah, I look at you, you know, all of you, you are prepared, you, as if you prepare yourself, you know, to get this attribute. How? Because he said, and the most generous after me, the one who teach knowledge and spread his knowledge. Okay? So, what's your position here? All of you, you should ask us. We should ask ourselves, what is our position? Since those people, Jazakallah Khairan, they uh, establish, you know, this uh, teaching session, you know, and make it available for any one of us, you know, I look at it not as arranged by so and so, not as arranged, you know, by those people who hosted us there, here, you know. No, this is originated from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is significant favor of, from Allah, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on all of us. And this remind me about, I don't know if it's hadith or mentioned by some of the companions of the successors, you know, that when a, a person of certain description like to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pass over a mountain, that mountain is going to call for the other mountain. Have you have ever to know, today anyone step on you in this description? If he said no, he's going to be proud, you know, of himself that, that it says no, himself that mountain, you know, because he has this person, you know, who has certain categories, certain characters, you know, given to him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, pass over him or step over him. I feel the land, the walls, they are too thirsty to those matters, especially in such a country. And when we have those good people, you know, they come to attend, try to seek the knowledge, you know. Firstly, you are going to make everything around you happy about it. And when Hadith the Prophet said, you, you cannot find anything in the heaven or the earth without knowing that I am the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except those who are rebellious, you know, among the jinn and human. 
So I believe these walls, you know, and the air, uh, and the ground, and you name it, they know the Prophet They would like the human you know, to speak about the Prophet They would like such a gathering, okay? For sure, in indirect way, they, they love you, you know, because they, you make the, this available to them. You know. Make it, and they are going to be proud, you know, their surrounding, you know, of objects, you know. They are going to be proud, you know, and show themselves, you know, against the other areas which did not have this. You see how noble and how great is this position, but the story doesn't end here. It starts here. How? What we are going to do? What's your plan? All of us, we have a plan for education. We have a plan for marriage. We have a plan for uh, our children. We have a plan for this or that. And now, you have something new, hit your, uh, your, your ears, you know, so, and hit your heart. And something came as a new idea from Allah, originated from Allah, came to your heart. How do, what's your plan? Someone asked me in, this, uh, in the first session, you know, what intention I sh should have. Now, I'm not speaking about intentions only. I speak about practical point, about plans, okay? Please, 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 all of us. I'm the first one because I'm the most la the laziest one, you know. We should find our way in improving, okay? If we are going to come and go back, you know, in the same way, same pattern, we are not that good, okay? Now, we have this honorable statement, you know, come to us and we should respond to it, okay? We should find its trace, you know, inside ourselves, and in such a country with a lot of needy, needs of this, you know, and I'm sorry to tell you that I've heard to, today, you know, that the Muslims, they are not that good here, you know, in this country, you know. A lot of them, they are criminals, they are this, they, are, they don't give the good picture, you know, about their religion, you know, in this country. And this makes your responsibility and your duty much more difficult, you know. it's too difficult. It is too, dark, too hard, but we don't have any other choice, okay? And uh, I think all of you, they would like to be generous, you know? And here, the most generous among you, the one who is going to distribute, right? And teach the knowledge which was given to him, okay? <coughs> we share knowledge, we have, alhamdulillah, good time, we have good teachers, you know? Not all of them, some of them, they are very good. Others have, half, or we don't have anything, okay? So here, at least take the teacher, uh, drop the, uh, the teacher you know, away, but you have heard the word of Allah, you have heard the hadith of the Prophet Alhamdulillah, we have been honored, you know, yesterday to have Habib Kabi, you know, and those honor, honorable people, you know, and for sure, this is going to touch our hearts, and we should change accordingly, okay? We should have different attitudes. Uh, I said, I told you this before, I'm going to repeat myself. Some of you were sent by his family, you know. I want to go to Halakha, okay, go to Halakha. But they are waiting for you there. And they are going to inspect you when you go back, you know, to them. And see, are you the same person, you know, who left them, or you are different? And if you are different, to better or worse, okay? And uh, regardless of what type of you, uh, your family or parents, they are religious or non-religious, you know, in both patterns, you know, for sure you are going to affect them, you know, a lot when they observe certain changes, you know, in your, in your behavior, in your action. I'm not telling you not to speak, no speak, but speaking alone doesn't mean a lot, you know. Nowadays, everyone speak, you know. And I'm sorry to tell you, 
most of those speakers, you know, perhaps including myself, you know, they speak about something high, too high, and they are too low, you know, in their practice, in their life, in eating, drinking, and you name it, you know. So here, to affect the others, to have your trace on the others, to be generous, one of the most generous person, you know, follow the step of your Prophet وسلم, not by speaking. And really the Prophet وسلم, did not have this full acceptance, you know, from everyone because of speaking. He was too eloquent, you know, to be Abi wa Ummi, but besides that he was the most truthful, you know, from inside and outside. And whenever he speak anything, not the believer, the non-believer is going to take it for sure. And that's why, I really this surprised me, when he conquered Mecca, <coughs> and he stood, you know, on the gate of Kaaba, Holy Kaaba, he said, what do you think I'm going to do with you? Those people, even though they spent long, long life, you know, in Kufr and non-belief, they have good expectation about him, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, because they know him very well. They said, "Khairan, you are going to be too decent with us, you know. Why? Because you are a noble brother and a noble nephew of us. You see, they reminded him about his characters. They reminded him about his lineage today. And he, all of us, we should remind ourselves, you know." about our lineage to our fine family yeah. and about our characters, how they are going to be connected. Many of you, they have bad characters and they are familiar with it. And they did not have that chance, you know, to behave it, you know, or take it away or whatever. And I see this as a very good opportunity, you know, to try to take it away, okay? To, why? To be generous. Why? Because you want to deliver this piece of information to your family, because for sure all of you, you love your family, family members, you know, a lot, to, to deliver it forcefully. Okay. Yes? Deliver it forcefully. What do I mean by, no, you don't put the gun, you know, listen to me. No. Forcefully, I mean by it, you know, you are going to act different, you know, and by this, even if they don't want to listen to you, even if they don't want to see you or whatever, you are going to enter their heart, you know, regardless, and especially those who are sincere among us, you know. This sincerity is going to penetrate, to affect those people, even though if they are not interested, okay? And that's what I mean by forcefully. Not by gun, not by power, not by strength, no. By the strength of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by the support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And inshallah, we are going, all of you, I make dua, and you make dua for me, and inshallah, inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help us. We'll say at the end, إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِيَّ We are nothing, you know, without the help of Allah. Yes? So, uh, the spreading of knowledge, it's not limited just to Islamic knowledge, is it? I mean, it can be for somebody who teaches in the school, for example, or like, in other subjects. Is, is it Let is me see. Are we limiting it to that? Uh, if it's beneficial, you know, and he has a good intention, for sure it's going to be rewarded a lot. And here, we don't have a lot of time, but he said he's going to be gathered in the hereafter, day of judgment, as a community alone. I don't expect any of you would like to be a community alone and not join, you know, to the followers of the Prophet. But what's meant here, there's a hidden meaning behind it, that a good person, good teacher, good generous person, as described here, is going to be considered as community. Why? Because he, he it changed the whole community around him. Okay? Mm -hmm. And this is, inshallah, when you change, you know, you have this significant change, and this is going to have a chain after chain, you know, till the hereafter, you are going to be rewarded, you know, of all of these changes, you know, even after the death. All of us, we are going to die after a while, you know, but 
Inshallah, your book will be kept open, you know, and they keep writing, you know, good deeds, you know, for you, because of those come after and after, you know, when you teach Quran, when you teach Hadith Nabawi, when you teach Fuqa, when you teach the characters of the Prophet Sallallahu and whenever you have any of those good matters, you know, given to us, Alhamdulillah, to be delivered to the others, to, to, to the others, and this is, in real, this is the way we receive them, you know. So we, we remember now, in, uh, in the last, we remember those generous people, you know, who delivered all of those matters to us, you know, out of their, uh, we live in their generosity, you know. Otherwise, we are not human, you know, without their generosity. And inshallah, we will we'll act in the same way, you know, to deliver it to the coming generation, you know, jazakumullah khairan, go. Uh, run, uh, run quickly, you know, and have Sunnah al-Asr because I'm sorry again, I made you miss Sunnah al-Asr yesterday.